Hi there! Welcome to Story Time. It's Tuesday Story Time. So, I am Miss Lupita, and I'm so happy that you're able to come to Story Time. We're going to start in a couple of minutes. Uh, but first, I just wanted to say thank you for coming to the Closter Public Library Story Time. I hope you're all feeling well. I hope parents, you're strong and feeling well, and we're all healthy, and we stay healthy. Okay, so first, I want to start with a song, and um, it's going to give you a hint about what the story is going to be. So here we go. The name of the song, and some of you know it already, is Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Okay, here we go. Zoom, 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 and you have to sing with me, okay? Okay. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. We'll be there very soon. So, if you'd like to take a trip, come aboard the big spaceship. And zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Excellent. Okay. We're on the moon. We're looking around. And now it's time to get back down to Earth. So, babies in space, babies in space, babies in space, gently come back down to Earth. Very good. I'm glad you've all landed. And now we can start our story. Okay, let's see. Here we go. So, today's book is called A Small World, and it was written by Ista Mercurio and Jen Corace. Jen Corace is the illustrator. And it was published by Harry N. Abrams, July 2nd of 2019. Okay. And here we are, the beautiful first picture in the book. And how many houses are there? You can count them, right? One, two, three, four, five. That was easy. How many trees? Oh, and... This is a trick question. There's big trees and little trees, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. And so our song and this picture gives you a hint about what the story will be taking place in. So she's got a rocket ship. And there's a poster in her room, and it's about all the planets and the sun. Okay. So the name of our hero is Nanda. And when Nanda was born, the whole of the world was wrapped in the circle of her mother's arms, safe, warm, and small. But as she grew, the world grew too. Oh, look at these. These are circles I put up. Let's see if you can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. How many purple ones do you see? Hmm, nice. Blue ones? Yes. Red ones? Okay. Pink? Orange? Very good. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, these are all babies being circled by their moms in big hugs. Hmm, there's little, little babies like you were once, and now bigger kids like you will be. But back to the story. It became a circle of her loving family, and there's all her family having dinner. A bubble of giggling playmates. Oh, look at all the Bubbles, yay! And slides and swings and whirly gigs and tumbles through the grass. Fun! 
Nanda got bigger and bigger, but as she grew, the world grew too. It became a sway of branches. And look at that. She's up in her tree. And what do you think? It must be winter, right? Look, she's got mittens on. And binoculars, so she can see, what, the moon, right? Okay, let's keep going. Oh, there she is. And it says scaffolds of steel. Do you guys know what scaffolding is? Here, I'm going to show you. So scaffolding is what they put up when they're building buildings to keep the construction workers safe. They can grab onto it. Very good. Okay. Oh, here we go. And cables and cogs and odds and sods and coasting through the night. Ooh, neat. Exciting. Ah, and look at that. So have you ever seen a snowflake, one snowflake magnified lots and lots of times so that it becomes big? Well, there's a snowflake right in that picture underneath the pine cones. And that is a fractal. And there she is going to college through a symphony of glass and stone. Those are all the buildings. And in school, she's learning how to be an engineer, I think, because look, it's spooled through spirals of wire and foam and human-powered helicopters lifting towards the sky. And there she is. She's made a helicopter. And now she's flying a plane. Nanda got bigger and bigger and bigger. But as she grew, the world grew too. Gee, I wonder what, what it looks like to look at the earth from the cockpit of a plane. Oh, there's a picture. Look at that. All the fields look very geometrical and very pretty. And then look at the city. They look tiny. They look like little miniatures. Okay, back to the story. On a day when Nanda was bigger than she had ever been before, her feet touched foreign soil. Her ears heard the crackle of voices. She gazed out into the ink black space and saw and the earth softly glowing a circle called home. She saw the earth safe and warm and small. The end. I hope you like that story and see there's a rocket ship and astronauts. Hmm, maybe one day you'll become astronauts. What do you think? Well, I hope so. We need some astronauts, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed story time. And don't forget to tune in for Thursday story time. See you. Stay well. Bye.